What's up everybody? You're here with Logman Plays, and today we're playing The Dark Side Detective, starring Detective Francis McQueen. We are a detective, and we're on the dark side. So we're gonna look at the case book. So we've got Ginny Go Bye Bye. So it's April Fool's Day, and I thought I'd just play like a fun game, do a little one shot. Whoa, I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you saw me drive up. Oh, our detective's gonna be real dark. Dot, dot, dot. I had my siren on. Dot, dot, dot. You waved at me. <laughs> I guess this place has me spooked out a little bit. Out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully. That's an X-Files reference. Just called me and told me not to, to get up here ASAP. No details. I am terrible at reading things. Seven-year-old kid, Jenny, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. <clears throat> Seems to be the kind of spooky crap, I mean, the kind of case you deal with, McQueen. So we're like a paranormal investigator. Like Constantine, but on an actual police force. Great, let's get started. So I haven't actually recorded a video in a while. Um, oh, go inside, okay. Uh, a lot of the stuff I've been putting out recently, uh, like the Minecraft Let's Plays. Um... And the Kirby ones with Mickey are have were pre-recorded a while ago. So let's talk to the father. Uh, Officer Julie, why is there a hobo dripping all over my par carpet? Well, that's Detective McQueen, Mr. Taylor. He's here to investigate. Excuse me. Where were you last? Okay. Oh, oh cool. So these are options. This is actually a really f cool looking game. All right. So our options were: Where were you last night? How come you didn't know she was missing? Tell me about Jenny. Well, let's go with Tell me about Jenny first. Tell me about Jenny. I'll level with you, detective. I don't have much dealings with her. I leave that to the m nanny. She's around here somewhere. I can't remember what voice I did for the father. Uh, let's see, where was she last night? I was out. That's not suspicious at all. Sounds shady. You got an alibi? Where, where I was is none of your business. That, that is absolutely our business, because we're trying to figure out what happened to your daughter. <laughs> they also pay for the cell questioning room. I'm going to have Dooley here take you to... Oh, snap. Fine. Here. Call this number. They'll vouch for me. You receive matches. Oh, boy. This is a matchbook from Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Alright, so we already asked him all this stuff. Exit. Look at the painting. <laughs> wow. A schooner. Haha, -ha, you dummy. It's not a schooner, it's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. Yeah, it was just gonna be the same thing. Ah, my bad. Alright, Officer Duels. Wow, look at this place. The folks must be millionaires. I, I guess so. Alright, matches. Okay, I guess I when I get to a telephone. Is that gonna go out? Oh, okay. Living room, closet. Let's look in the closet. Can I talk to Officer Dooley? <laughs> Did you follow me into this closet? You may have needed backup. <laughs> I did not see the question mark when I started off that time. A box of junk. What's this? It looks like a black light bulb. You received black light bulb. Now all I need is a disco ball and some white clothes, and I've got myself a, a sexy party. Okay. Can I? That's a rookie. what? Oh, was he saying, like, putting the thing back in there? All right, let's see what's in the library. Ah, a nice painting. <laughs> Takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. All right, let's replace the bulb in this lamp. Can't do that. Okay. Ah, the lantern. I know I had oil lamp. No, pff, pff, wrong voice. An old oil lantern. Someone seems to have left, have left oil, too. All right, can we combine the black light with the lantern? Nope, okay. Dog statue. <laughs> this statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. Flowers. A place is fancy disturbs up neither than plastic flowers. A good collection of books. Shame the death suggests that they've not been looked at in some time. Alright, Officer Julie, what's the deal? You can never trust a man who has too many books, that's what I say. How many books are too many? Six? <laughs> and how many books do you? <laughs> Please. I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. <laughs> Incredible. Alright. Uh, what are we looking around here for? Flowers? 
myself. I like my tie. It's a cool tie. Closet, living room. Is that where we just were? Stairs? Crap, it's doing that thing where it's like... Oh, the attic? Alright, let's look at this portrait. Sorry that it's a... It's doing this thing where it shows up with my actual mouse. She seems like a sweet kid. I hope I can find her. Daughter's bedroom. What the heck? Who's this? Oh, the mother. Man, pony, tree. Pins. Officer Dooley. Drawers. Mother, daddy. Hallway. Alright, let's look at the teddy first. Tell me where she is, bear! I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're a bear. Stupid, no nothing bear. What? Why are all of these like... Hello, can I... My baby! My baby is gone! Can you tell me about she... She just disappeared! My baby! Is there anything that... You have to find her! <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've also been kind of sick. She's too hysterical to be of any use. Man, find me a man that looks like that. I'll give you $1,000. The humor in this is kind of weird. Looking at this, I doubt she's going to start art school. How old is she? I've never seen a horse with five legs. Oh, well, that's a mystery to be solved. This, the tape, the, the label says, for use under blacklight. You receive marker. Jorson. I don't have much use for a dozen pairs of pink socks. This is a lot of pink. No wonder the kid ran off. Is that the reasoning? Alright. Seems like a bad idea. Dang it. Okay, apparently that's a rookie mistake. Hallway. I don't really know what I'm trying to accomplish in this game. I mean, like, I know I'm trying to find, um... Ginny, of course. But I don't know really what I'm trying to accomplish in this Let's Play. Tell me about Jenny. She's, mm, she's a good kid. Spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what you have, that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. What's that nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No siree. Alright, that's not weird. Strange paper. What's this? Seems like a paranormal contraband. It's a page from a cult for dummies. With some sort of weird pattern on it. Beautiful. It's hard to believe that this picture and the crying woman are the one and the same. Oh. Do you recognize this page? That? Or. Oh, or no? I'm more a complete idiot's guide kind of gal. Suspicious. <laughs> Is this your book? Oh, okay. Same way. Family portrait. Jenny and your mom look quite heavy in this picture. But the dad is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Jars. I probably shouldn't show these to Dooley. What? Okay. Um. I guess there's nothing else to really do. Black light bulb. Oh. Hmm. Interessante. Alright, let's go to the attic. <clears throat> Ooh, that's spooky. Paint thinner. The paint thinner spilled on that shelf broke. Wow, where am I carrying all this stuff? Oh, uh, whoops, that's my <laughs> that's my dock. These look heavy enough to knock someone out cold. Is that like your first idea when it comes to... <gasps> Broken lamp. Just a blown bulb. Let's put the black light in there. Oh, this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. Oh! <gasps> Demonic doorway? <gasps> well, that doesn't look ominous at all. Can I go in? Wait, let's talk to Dooley first. What the heck? Oh, that's it? Okay. When the paint thinner spilled, it watched some of the pattern off it. I'll try to redraw it. Holy cow. Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no light. Lantern. <clears throat> Uh, get the lantern. Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there. What the heck? I guess we need to go back down? No. Oh! Did it! Okay. Boom! We're going in. Alright. <clears throat> No harm, detective, but I ain't going to that creep fest. I'll, eh, stand guard out here. All right, Dooley. You coward. Whoa. 
Oh, it's Jenny. Hey, Jenny. <clears throat> hey, mister. Hello, kid. Are you here to take me home? I am. <laughs> Good. I was getting hungry. Oh, that... Oh, this is spooky. I'm actually kind of scared. <laughs> okay, kid. Let's get out of here. Oh, the nanny! Not so fast, detective. I'm gonna give the nanny... Where's Dooley? <clears throat> the cop? I knocked him out. Can't... Can't have you snooping around near here anymore, so I'm gonna trap you here. Sigh. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her. What? Especially if anything should to her parents. Say, for example, getting trapped in a dark mirror world of their bedroom. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's what this is about? An inherited scheme? You have to admit, it's a pretty, it's a fairly perfect crime. <laughs> Even if you do get rid of me, then what? She knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. <clears throat> if she's so smart, that's Dooley's voice. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. What happened? To, what about Dooley? He'll wake up and know everything. Oh boy. Hmm. Good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him across to here with you. Come on. Okay, drag your friend in here. And no funny business. Dooley's out cold. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. How do I drag him? Throw paint thinner on the door. <clears throat> Whoa. Did I solve it? <clears throat> Did I do it? So the kid got into nanny stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself healing on the dark side? That's a surprisingly useful summary of things, yes. <laughs> Shame that nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. What? <laughs> Dooley. She was dabbling in the dark arts with a name to like innocent folk in a parallel world. Kidnap their kid and steal all their cash. I said it was a shame. Jeez. <laughs> I wonder where that nanny got the occult books from anyways. That stuff is hard to find these days. These days. <laughs> A case for another day, Dooley. First of all, I have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers paperwork covers this mess. The Dark Side Detective. Star Detective Francis McQueen. Nice, that was sweet. So is there a second case? I think that's it. Alright, guys, this was super fun. Um, <clears throat> how do I get back? <laughs> Escape? Oh, whoops. Hmm. I don't know how to get back to the main screen. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, guys, this was a great time. Uh, this was a fun April, April Fool's Day kind of vid. Uh, cause you guys know I like mysteries and stuff. Um. Anyway, that being said, have a safe uh, April Fool's Day. Hopefully, you know, no one plays any harmful pranks on you or anything like that. Uh, this is Logman, signing out. See you guys next time.